The twin sugar maple trees stood watch over this old farmhouse in Kensington for 240 years, planted during the American Revolution. The one on the right, in her later years, crowned a champion tree, the second largest sugar maple in the country. I have always referred to her as the old lady. Janet Buxton has lived on the farm for 67 years. She was 14 when she moved here with her parents and 11 siblings. Her brother Jonathan remembers climbing the massive tree as a kid. It was big, it was tough to get to the first limb, but after that it was okay. Growing up, the tree became the family's claim to fame. If we said, where we lived, they said, oh, the one, the house with the big trees. We knew we had a special tree. I mean, we knew she was an ugly old gnarly thing, but was beautiful. The old lady started to show her age, battered by mother nature and father time. The tree had lost its structure to support itself, even though it was still vigorous and it had a full canopy and was breathtaking still. Arborist Micam Davis has been caring for the decaying tree for more than a decade, keeping her on life support. I finally had to give us the bad news like a doctor, a surgeon telling a patient they have cancer and it's terminal. No choice now but to take her down before the tree took down the house. We were heartbroken that it had to be cut down, but it was time. Well, it's sad, but uh, you know, it's inevitable. It's life cycle, come and go. So as cranes and crew prepare for her demise, family and friends gather for a memorial. We had a service for her, and I almost thought of calling a minister, but I didn't want to go that far to think that I, people would think I was crazy. <laughs> Today we gather here with heavy hearts to say goodbye. They skipped last rites, but did give a eulogy. We say goodbye to a legend, to one of a kind, a living landmark. And with the pull of a chainsaw, the first cut was made to the 102-foot tree. Her crown spread 100 feet, and the circumference of the trunk, 230 inches. Named by the New Hampshire Big Tree Program, the state's biggest sugar maple, and last year, winning national bragging rights. Branch by branch, hauled away. Neighbors lined the street, transfixed. <laughs> Removal was pretty much textbook until it came to this 7,000-pound branch. Throughout the years, cables were added for support, but this section has been the number one safety concern. Even a close call from Micam as he cuts through the branch. I stepped away, and it, it came down in front of me, um, and uh, it bent the bar on my chainsaw. Finally, that last piece, the base of the tree, a fixture for two and a half centuries, leaves her perch. the family by surprise was the amount of rot, making it impossible to confirm the tree's age. It was so decayed when we cut it down that you can't count the rings because, the, I mean, the center of the tree was hollow. The old lady, in all her glory, now in several pieces, but the memories preserved. And we used to sit out here on the porch all the time, and as a family, you know, we had a, a swing here, and my parents would sit out here, and there was just... It was just a tree, just our special tree. The sugar maple's twin, which is still going strong, always lived in the old lady's shadow, never measuring up. I'm not as affectionate to, towards that one, although I might have to be now. 
The family, good stewards of both trees, never tapped them for syrup, and despite Jonathan's adventures, climbing was discouraged. I was just a kid, and, and uh, the tree was a tree. It was nice until uh, my father caught me and my next oldest brother climbing this one. He scolded us. In a way, the tree will live on. The family fielding requests for wood to turn into furniture, bowls, and musical instruments. But first dibs go to the siblings. Janet plans to have butcher block countertops made for her new house. That's what this is gonna be. After 67 years in the Buxton family, the farmhouse is going on the market. It will just be very sad. It's a beautiful home. It's been a beautiful place to grow up and uh, many, many happy memories, many sad memories. The old sugar maple helping Janet stay rooted to her home, even as they both move on. Mm -hmm.